Hi fellow Webflowers, Webflow released a new feature for word breaking, text wrapping and line breaking. While this is great, there's one essential feature missing. In this video, I will show you how to use the three typography options and how to get more out of it with one line of custom CSS. So let's get into it. So let's start with word breaking. Um, here you can see a page with some long copy that I have prepared. You can set the word breaking either on an individual element or on its parent. Typography settings uh, should mostly be used global, so I prefer to use them directly on the body. While you should set this on the desktop view, I will switch to mobile just to see better how it affects the text. To set the word breaking options, you select your element you want to apply it to, in my case, the body, and go to the typography settings here. Next, you click on more type options, and here you can set the word breaking. The default is breaking normal. What um, I probably choose in 99% of the time, unless your language is Chinese, Japanese, or Korean. Uh, with normal, you tell the browser to break its spaces or hyphens. Um, with break all, this option here, the browser fills each line and breaks the word at any character where it is necessary. To be honest, I can't imagine a use case uh, for that. And I also couldn't find one uh, while Googling for it. If you know a use case, please leave me a comment for it. And the third option is keep all. Keep all works like normal um, for all languages except Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. For those three languages, uh, words are not broken even uh, when the content overflows. So let's set it back to normal. And by the way, if you want to become a highly paid Webflow developer and designer, subscribe to my channel. I frequently release videos like this about Webflow, UI design, and creative business. But let's talk about line breaking. Line breaking is also a part of text formatting that controls how spaces and line breaks are handled in your content. Spaces and tabs are white space characters that make horizontal or vertical space between other characters. Line breaks are white space characters that make a new line of text, like when you press enter um, on your keyboard. And while there are six options, I'm going to talk about the two that make the most sense because they have many use cases. Uh, they are normal and no wrap. Others like pre wrap are nice to have, but I couldn't imagine any important real life example for it. Again, if you know some, leave it in a comment below. Um, if you want to read more about them, you can also find a link in the description to learn more about it. So the default setting is normal. This option tells the browser to wrap the text to the next line as needed. The other option is no wrap. If I use it on the body, you can see I can break the entire website with it. So be careful with it. Um, I use it from time to time on buttons. For example, if they are in a pricing table like this here. Often the paddings uh, of the table forces the text of the button to break. If you don't want this, you can use no wrap on the button if it's not possible to change the padding of the, of the entire uh, pricing table. But be careful with it. Um, if the text goes too long, uh, it leads to an overflow and uh, this can also break your layout. So the best option would be to use shorter copy like book now. Yeah. Then the third new feature is text wrapping. Text wrapping has three options. The default is again normal, and this tells your browser to set breaking spaces between words and hyphens. Um, depending on the language, words can get pretty long. And here's an example of a very long URL from a Google search. As you can see, it leads to an overflow because there's no white space where the browser can set a line break. Um, instead of using word break, you should use text wrap here. And um, wrap anywhere will force a line break in the URL and we don't have any overflow anymore. The option break all does basically the same but doesn't respect the intrinsic min content size. In most cases, to be honest, you won't see any difference. So I always use uh, the option anywhere. But 
what I miss in this feature release and what it makes not quite round for me is the po possibility to control the hyphens. So the, the dashes between um, the words or word break. Also, word breaking is a useful option to take advantage of the length of the lines. Without hyphens, it doesn't really make sense. Um, often you can see it on headlines. Here we have an example with an extra long word. The space here, that is uh, the result of the word breaking, um, it doesn't look really nice. In addition, on mobile, this can lead to wrong spellings. So what I'm missing is hyphens auto. To activate it, you need to insert a little bit of custom code. And once it kicks in, it sets a hyphen. Um, but here is the one last thing you should not forget. In order to work correct, you need to set the um, correct language settings. Otherwise, uh, this could lead to uh, typos or wrong hyphens. To do so, just go to the project settings, scroll down and set the language code here. And if you want to learn everything you need to know about type scales and how to use them in Webflow, you should watch this video now. Thanks for watching and as always, stay in the flow.